Now we're going to test some of the things we've gone over so far and add some music to our lives. We're starting up a new project. Before we can start working on our project, we'll need some samples. FL Studio comes with a sample pack. You find this by going to the browser on the left side and choosing the folder named Packs. Left click on the folder and underneath some new folders will appear with different sample collections, which are just fine to start with. You can also log into My FL Studio at FL Studio's webpage and gain access to a lot of free samples from samplefusion.com. But in this video, we will be using the integrated samples from FL Studio. We start by selecting the samples and plugins that we'll need in our project. We'll now find some drum samples in the subfolder Real Drum Kits. We'll need a kick, which we'll get into the step sequencer by clicking and holding down the left mouse button and drag it onto the track. The track now lights up orange when we hold the sound on it which means that it will be added on the track when we let go of the button. Then we'll need a snare. And again, we'll add it to the step sequencer in the same way. To add a new track with the chosen snare, simply let it go under the track that holds the kick. Be sure that the above or below tracks don't light up orange, or else the sound on them will be replaced by the new one. Finally, we need a hi-hat and then add it in the same way as the snare. We'll also need some instrument plugins for our project. These we find by right clicking on a track and choosing insert. We start by choosing FL keys. Then we'll need a citrus synth. Choose it in the same way. With this we can lay down a bass. And then we'll need the 3XOS oscillator. Now we have all the tracks we need to start with. A very cool function is that you can group your different tracks. You do this by right clicking in the black drop down window in the bottom left corner of the step sequencer. Choose add filter group and name it. First we make a group for our drum samples which we call drums. And thereafter a new group for our instrument plugins which we call melodics. So in order to get our sounds into groups, we choose all and to add the drum samples to the group drums, we firstly mark the desired tracks by right clicking the small green lamps and then the shortcut for groups is ALT and G. And then you type in drums. It's important to type the exact name of the group or you'll add them to a new group. Now the kick, snare and hi-hat are all in the same group. We choose all to see all the tracks. Then we mark our three plugins and type again ALT and G. Then we type in melodics. You can switch between your groups by pressing either page up or page down. So, before we start, we'll uh, change some of the settings. We'll choose a slower tempo, that being 90 BPM. We do that by holding down the left mouse button on the tempo display and then dragging it either up or down. Then, we would want to change the pattern length to 8 instead of 4 bars by going to Options, General Settings and change it to 8 bars. Now we have the double amount of bars to work on in the step sequencer. Like you see here, if you try to uh, switch between your patterns in the same way that you switch your tempo up and down, you'll see that they're all the same length. But if you want to change the length of just one pattern, you just left click here on the display in the left side of the step sequencer. And then if you want to choose, for instance, pattern two, and then you choose the length of it. If you want it to be 16 bars instead of eight, then this one pattern will be twice the length of the other patterns. Like you see here. So, now we're gonna start making our drum loop. But uh, before we do that, it's um, a little important to get some order in the playlist. Um, so, we open the playlist and the four patterns we're gonna need is pattern 1, 2, 3 and 4. On pattern 1 we place our drums 
And in pattern 2 we place the Mook bass. And in pattern 3 we place our FL keys. And finally in pattern 4 we place the oscillator synth. So now in this way we know where to place our four different patterns when they're done. You name the different patterns in the playlist by right clicking and choosing rename. So if you want to get an even better overview when dealing with many patterns, you can colorize the patterns by right clicking and choosing color selected. And we'll color our drums red so that when we click in a drum pattern it's red. The Moog we give a green color and let's make the keys brown and finally the oscillator yellow. So now in this way we get a much better view of where the different patterns are in the playlist when we're working. Uh, and then we're gonna close down the playlist again.